welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to say cheers and thank you to all of you for your support. It's absolutely amazing how many people have commented on all of the videos I'm making and how much they love it. And that just gives me so much more uh, enthusiasm to really do the best that I possibly can. Tonight I am fishing, I've got a new microphone. Um, nothing new to those who do YouTube channels, but for me it's quite a thing. Uh, so hopefully tonight, especially because of the wind, uh, hopefully it'll be a lot, uh, a lot quieter and I'll be able to, you'll be able to soak up the atmosphere a bit more rather than just having music. Uh, tonight, let's see, this is very apt, it's a toast, uh, toast to you guys for your support, thank you so much indeed. Mm. God, that's good. Now, um, I don't think there are many ladies watching my channel, but even if there are, or gents, steady on, steady on, thigh waders are on, first time for the season. This river is pretty shallow, uh, so I won't really need to, um, <laughs> I won't need the chest waders or the thigh, or the waist waders either. So I'm just going with the old uh, ball in the bag nylon jobbies. A uh, little bit of branding, a bit of Shakespeare. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is what I carry. This is what I, when I go trout fishing, because there seems to be so much clobber that you need to take, so much equipment. I suppose you can overthink it, but uh, I've got um, in here, I've got my glasses and I've got some uh, um, pheasant tail nymphs and uh, pardon me, some light weighted flies. In here I've got mayfly and I've got my river dry flies and my mayfly and then up in this hook, this oh. And then in here, I've got my grayling box, which is really what I use on rivers, uh, especially like this, because they're quite small, pheasant tail nymphs, you know, those kind of things, weighted, uh, weighted flies, that's all I really tend to use. I've also got some GoPro batteries, um, a little bits and bobs in the top, in this pocket, glasses, mobile phone, uh, some uh, Rio Powerflex uh, tapered line. Uh, and then in this one, I like uh, Loon uh, Top Ride. It's like a powder dry fly floatant. And water. Oh, and then on the back, I've got my neck, and, uh, and that's about it. So that is what I carry in my fly vest when I'm fishing for trout. GoPro is mounted here, microphone, good to go. Let's see if I can get through here. Yeah, okay, cool. So I last came to this river probably about, um, I don't know, two months ago, maybe three months ago. I'm not sure. Water's gone down considerably since I came last. Yeah. Gosh, it's quite shallow.
Now, that's interesting because that's exactly where that fly went a minute ago and it got caught up. And they seem to be just off to the left there. See where the left load of stones are. But, um, seems to be sheltering in there. I'll maybe try over to the right there. See if we can't. Not sure if you can see now well sun's coming out again but it, the water is gin clear it's quite easy to spot fish and i've been spotting and casting two fish so far You know what it's called, tell me. Is it Runculus? Look at that. Ooh. 
now on the landing zone for Mayfly. What I'm saying interesting is because I'm looking at all these fish in front of me and they're looking at the fly, following it for a little bit and then rejecting it. The thing is, I've cast out at them and over them. They're not moving. Again, they're not feeding on anything. I'm not seeing anything feeding. Maybe I have to come back to this section a bit later on. Maybe just about nine o'clock. So I was reading on the website of the Cotswold fly fishers. This is a new beat for them. Uh, they're renting it now. But they were saying that it's been mismanaged in previous years because it's been allowed to get really wide and you can see how shallow it is. And there's, they were saying that uh, there's been quite a few sort of uh, poorly designed croys and sort of outcrops which have not really worked to deflect the flow of the river and ended up creating bank erosion and all this kind of stuff. So. I'm anticipating that it will get a lot better over the next few years. They certainly do put a lot of effort into maintaining the rivers, but maintaining the rivers for the benefit of fishermen and the environment, of course, not like the Wyan Usk. Foundation who just seem to do it for well other reasons of which I couldn't tell you what they are. I think that uh, I think all rivers in England we didn't have a very wet winter. I think all the um, rivers in England must have really. at this kind of level, you know, really quite poor. There's not a lot of depth at all, only in that bottom section. Past seven. Yeah, I'm just not seeing any, up this end, I'm just not seeing any fish, you know, beyond the other ones I scared off. Oh dear. This is rickety.
It's a bit awkward because of these trees. There's a fish just jumping on. I don't know where I can really get to. It's doing this like crazy back fast over my left hand shoulder. Right, well, that's it. It's just coming up for quarter to ten. I fished through that uh, pool again. But I didn't see anything or and I didn't connect with anything so what you guys have reminded me of in my previous videos when I've been quite low about not catching anything is just how lucky I am to have the opportunity to go and do this and to bring it to you uh, for a video like this so I hope you enjoyed it uh, more fishing to come uh, I've got um, I've got a salmon fishing uh, day on the Broadlands beat on the test next week wish me luck for that and also I'm really excited I'm going to be taking you to visit one of my favorite rivers anywhere okay I'll keep it a surprise for now but it's a fishery that I've been a member of the syndicate for for about six years and I was on the waiting list for about seven years um, and I'm really thrilled to take you along for the ride so you can see uh, that little stretch of river there's only 12 of us in this syndicate and we have control of this like three miles of amazing chalk stream river i can't wait to take you on that as well so thanks again if you haven't haven't subscribed then uh please consider doing so i'm recording uh fishing uh videos every time i go and i'm going at the moment i'm going about two or three times a week i'm just spotting the cows so i'm going to make a run for it mm -hmm.